Hello again. Ever since the American television series Bridgerton appeared on our screens, there has been a positive mania for casting visible minorities in weird and wholly inappropriate roles. Bridgerton is of course set in Regency England and shows black people as members of the aristocracy, even the royal family. This is slightly disconcerting to those of us who know anything about British history, but one can perhaps forgive the Americans. Perhaps they don't know any better. However, the BBC do, or at least they used to, know better than to stick in random black people to an historical drama and hope people won't realise how absurd and unrealistic it makes the thing. Alas, they have been in the habit of doing this in recent years, and all the signs are that the practice is becoming even more widespread. When all said and done, Bridgerton was a light-hearted fantasy. It wasn't meant to be taken seriously. But Hilary Mantel's Wolf Hall novels were another matter. They are scrupulously researched historical works, which are as accurate in every detail of the world in which they are set, as accurate as they can possibly be. The BBC, though, has a problem with these books, one which they did not have when first they were televised in 2015. The problem is that everybody is white. The world has changed since the BBC first televised um, the first series of Wolf Hall in 2015. The death of George Floyd in 2020 and the coming to prominence of the Black Lives Matter movement triggered a renewed interest, shall we put it, in anti-racism. So it is that the BBC now seem to believe that they have a duty to ensure that England's past is portrayed in a multicultural and diverse fashion. In the latest dramatisation of Wolf Hall, coming to our screen soon, the mother of Jane Seymour, the third wife of Henry VIII, is played by a black woman, and so is Jane Seymour's sister-in-law. There is no explanation for this casting, and the BBC refused to explain why they are deliberately misrepresenting the country's history in this fashion. The thumbnail to this video shows Sarah Priddy, who plays uh, Jane Seymour's mother, Cecilia Appiah, who plays the sister-in-law of Jane Seymour, and a guy called Amir al-Masri, who also has a prominent role. The truth is, of course, that there were only a tiny handful of black people in Tudor England. A woman called Miranda Kaufman wrote an entire book on this subject called Black Tudors, The Untold Story, and she could only come up with four black people who had lived their lives in England during the 16th century. She found one or two foreigners who had visited this country and stayed for a year or two before leaving, people like the famous John Blank, the trumpeter who spent five years in England at that time, and a diver who worked for a year for an Italian, but nobody who was born and bred here. The idea of black Tudors is a nonsense. I rather suspect that the BBC know this, but so desperate are they to push the idea for younger people that Britain has always been full of black people, they do not scruple to produce what is really no more than propaganda working towards that end. 